Welcome to today's session on the Requirements Checker and OpenSSL distribution. I am John Suho. People call me John Suho. I work as a Senior Support Specialist in the WRC. Our topic today is the new Requirements Checker in InterSystems IRIS kits and instances. We'll also talk about changes in how InterSystems IRIS accesses the OpenSSL library and how those changes relate to the Requirements Checker. These changes will enable you to use TLS 1.3 on operating system versions that use OpenSSL 1.1.1 and will also enable easier and more frequent updating of OpenSSL. Before I explain things in terms of instances, libraries, and operating systems, I'll first explain things in terms of kitchen sinks, water heaters, and houses. Let's talk about upgrades to your home fixtures. Every so often, you need to upgrade your sink. So you decide to get a shiny new sink from everyone's favorite faucet provider, not InterSystems, InterSinks, leaders in creative faucet technology, and how. Once you obtain the right sink kit from the aforementioned company, you call their installer to set it up. Now, InterSynx knows that for the sink to do its job, it will need hot water. So when installing a faucet, the installer will check to see whether the house has a water heater in place that is compatible with this particular sink. Seems sensible. Though, if you've been a long-time customer of InterSynx, you might not be used to that, as they previously did something quite different. In years prior, to guarantee that the sink would have hot water immediately upon installation, InterSynx would also install a water heater, automatically, every time they installed a sink. But no longer. Moving forward, InterSynx will stop installing its own water heater and instead rely on the water heater that comes with your house. If you have an older house, it likely has a traditional water heater with a tank. If you have a new modern house, it likely has a new tankless water heater that boasts greater efficiency and safety ratings. Next generation hot water. InterSync's faucets differentiate between traditional and tankless heaters, so different sink kits need to be installed depending on the kind of house and therefore the kind of heater. So if, say, when using a sink kit for newer houses, the installer doesn't find a water heater in the home that's compatible, either because you actually have an older home with the wrong kind of heater or a newer home that's just missing a heater altogether, they will abort the installation because that sink won't work right. Now, there's an exception if the house isn't a regular house, but instead a greenhouse, you know, one of those houses that's just made out of windows. Greenhouses definitely don't have their own water heaters, so the installer doesn't even bother checking for one, and the water heater will still be installed automatically with the sink. And that'll be true whether the greenhouse is old or new, so the same sink kit can be used either way. Now, Obviously, in real life, things wouldn't exactly work like that. We took some liberties because they're helpful for the comparisons we're going to make later. The age of the house wouldn't really determine what kind of water heater it had, per se, and a sink wouldn't really care what kind of water heater it was matched with, but please pretend that they do for the time being, even if our comparison doesn't really hold water, so to speak. Okay, let's talk about how all of this relates to InterSystems IRIS. InterSystems is introducing a new requirements checker utility that will run during install time to check whether required libraries are set up on the OS before installation can proceed. Previously, InterSystems had included its own copies of necessary libraries as part of the installation kit, but this is changing specifically for the OpenSSL library. 
starting with Intersystems Iris 2021.2 for Unix and Linux platforms. The OpenSSL library will no longer be included as part of the installation kit, which will instead rely on the OpenSSL library from the operating system. Ta-da! This would be a good time to discuss major versions of OpenSSL, specifically OpenSSL 1.0.2 and OpenSSL 1.1.1, which are really the major versions in use today. Now, despite the fact that these have three digits in them, they are in fact major versions. The minor versions have letters at the end. For example, OpenSSL 1.0.2a, OpenSSL 1.0.2b, versus OpenSSL 1.1.1a, or OpenSSL 1.1.1b, etc. Unix and Linux operating system versions are generally tied to a particular major version of OpenSSL. That is, we can generally assume that if we know the version of the OS, we know whether it will use OpenSSL 1.0.2 or OpenSSL 1.1.1. For example, Red Hat 7 uses OpenSSL 1.0.2, whereas Red Hat 8 uses OpenSSL 1.1.1. This means that different operating system versions, which are tied to a specific major version of OpenSSL, now have their own separate InterSystems Iris install kits, whereas before all operating system versions would use the same kit. For example, Red Hat 7 and Red Hat 8 will now use different Iris installers since Red Hat 7 and Red Hat 8 operating systems come with different major versions of OpenSSL. Once the Iris 2021.2 kits are released, you'll want to check the different kit platforms to see if your OS now has different kits that are specific to particular OS versions. On versions where the operating system uses OpenSSL 1.1.1, which supports TLS 1.3, customers will now be able to configure and use TLS 1.3 for their InterSystems Iris connections. Benefits of TLS 1.3 include faster TLS handshakes and automatic forward secrecy, more efficient and safer, just like a tankless water heater. Windows platforms do not have OpenSSL built in. So they will continue to have Iris kits that ship with the library for the foreseeable future. Starting with InterSystems Iris 2021.2, Windows kits will ship with OpenSSL 1.1.1 and will therefore support TLS 1.3. For Unix and Linux systems, when installing an InterSystems Iris kit, the new requirements checker will verify whether the major version of OpenSSL the kit was designed for is installed on the OS. The requirements checker can also be called manually using the installer kit before installation is attempted and will also run at startup time to make sure the library is still installed. The requirements checker doesn't currently exist on Windows. Using the OS library also decouples maintenance releases of OpenSSL from releases of InterSystems Iris. Let's say that OpenSSL 1.1.1 gets a new minor version released. For example, say the latest version goes from OpenSSL 1.1.1a to OpenSSL 1.1.1b. We just let the operating system handle that on its own update cycle. And InterSystems Iris benefits from that automatically, with no need to get a new Iris install kit or upgrade the instance. And you can do the same thing a bit later when the latest version goes from SSL 1.1.1b to OpenSSL 1.1.1c and so forth, still without having to upgrade Iris. In the future, InterSystems will explore relying on the OS for other libraries that we currently ship, though at present we don't have any specific plans. Okay. Let's take a look at the requirements checker in action. It can be called manually with an installer kit before install using the command iris install dash dash prechecker. And it will run as part of the actual installation when calling iris install or iris install silent. If you try to install a Red Hat 7 kit on a Red Hat 8 machine or vice versa, the requirements checker will report 
the installer can't find a platform in this distribution supported by your system. Contact InterSystem Support. Though, you may not have to contact support since you now know to check whether the kit matches the OS version. But you can still call us if you do need us. Now, the case of actually running a Red Hat 8 kit on a Red Hat 8 machine is more straightforward. When running the requirements checker manually, you see here that it says requirement for OpenSSL 1.1.1 is satisfied. That's the OpenSSL major version we would expect to see on Red Hat. And when we run the installer normally, it just proceeds with the installation. When running a Red Hat 7 kit on Red Hat 7, we see similar messages, but it specifies OpenSSL version 1.0.2, which is the version the kit expects to see installed on a Red Hat 7 machine. And once again, if you just run iris install, the installation proceeds normally. Now, what if OpenSSL isn't installed on the operating system? Then on both Red Hat 7 or Red Hat 8, the requirements checker will report Required package OpenSSL is not installed, and if you attempt to run the install, it will abort. If you had already successfully installed an instance, but then someone removed OpenSSL from the operating system, then when the instance tries to start up, it will report that OpenSSL is not installed and will abort startup. Here's that message after running iris start. And there's the same message that appears in the messages.log. All right, let's recap. Starting with InterSystems Iris 2021.2, at install or startup or on demand, the new requirements checker will verify that required libraries are installed on the OS. Unix and Linux instances will use the OpenSSL library from the OS, so InterSystems will no longer distribute OpenSSL on those platforms. Some platforms will now have installation kits for a specific OS version, which should be tied to a specific major version of OpenSSL. Operating system versions that use OpenSSL 1.1.1 will enable their Iris instances to use TLS 1.3. And Windows kits will still include OpenSSL and will ship with OpenSSL 1.1.1 starting in Iris 2021.2. Here's my contact info, but a better resource for your questions on this topic would be Andreas Dekau, a principal product manager here at InterSystems. We thank you for joining us for this session. We hope you're excited to tap into new features like TLS 1.3. And while we know that dependencies can sometimes make you feel like you're in hot water and make you want to wash your hands of the whole situation, hopefully with the requirements checker, all your problems will disappear right down the drain. Now just let that sink in. Thank you. <laughs>